In this video, we give an updated ranking of our 1991 Leaf Baseball Cards 10 Most Valuable as determined by average auction prices for perfect PSA 10 copies. The original video is linked in the description below. Let's find out how things have changed in our lineup counting down from number 10. Oops, 1991 Leaf Kirby Puckett number 21 slipped off our list, but Kirby's always worth mentioning. Puckett didn't reinvent himself as he aged. Instead, his body let him down to the extent that he had to retire after 12 seasons. But those years were so good and Puckett was so beloved that he's still a big hobby figure these days. With a Cooperstown plaque and two World Series championships with the Minnesota Twins under his belt, Puckett checks in at $15 here in 1991 Leaf in PSA 10. Yikes! 1991 Leaf Barry Larkin number 3 also falls off our list. But again, he is also worth mentioning. When this card was issued, Barry Larkin was coming off a dream season for his hometown Cincinnati Reds, a season that ended with a title. The future looked bright, and it was, for Larkin at least. A 1995 National League MVP award took him to the halfway point of a Hall of Fame career that marked him as one of the greatest shortstops of his generation. It's all good enough to hold his 1991 Leaf card steady at $15 for PSA 10 copies. Number 10, 1991 Leaf, Randy Johnson, number 319. Johnson was really just getting started when his 1991 Leaf card first made its way to collectors. Sure, Randy was already scaring hitters with his heater and towering frame, but he still hadn't put it all together to become the big unit. Once it clicked for Johnson, though, the hobby embraced him, and this 1991 Leaf card is a $10 item in PSA 10 condition these days. Current auction amount? Around $6. Number 9. 1991 Leaf, Roger Clemens, number 488. Big arm, lots of Cy Young awards, fall from grace. And a $20 1991 Leaf card in perfect slabbed condition. Updated current auction amount, around $10. Number 8. 1991 Leaf Cal Ripken Jr., number 430. A few years later, of course, Cal passed Lou Gehrig for the most consecutive games played ever. In the meantime, Ripken's cards took a Ryanesque turn upward and never really looked back. These days, expect to pay around $15 for a PSA 10 version of the 1991 Leaf Ripken. Know who was another great shortstop in the 1980s and 1990s? Yeah, Cal Ripken Jr., who would put together perhaps his finest individual season to take home the American League MVP hardware in 1991. Current auction amount? Around $11. Number 7. New on our list, 1991 Leaf, Robin Yount, number 116. After his retirement, Robin Yount was elected to the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility, 1999. Current auction amount, around $12. Number 6. 1991 Leaf, George Brett, number 335. At 38, Brett was coming off his third American League batting title as 1991 donned, but he was also entering the home stretch of a career that would leave him with a 305 batting average, 3,154 hits, and 317 home runs. He had been marked as a future Hall of Famer for years, a promise he made good in 1999. Always a collector favorite. Brett checks in at around $25 here in PSA 10 condition. Update auction amount? Around $17. New on our list at number 5, 1991 Leaf Frank Thomas, number 281. After his retirement, Frank Thomas was elected to the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility, 2014. Update auction amount? Around $17. Number 4. 1991 Leaf, Nolan Ryan, number 423. It's possible that no athlete ever was more popular than Nolan Ryan was in 1991. That's hyperbole, sure, but maybe not by much. 
After all, the Ryan Express had roared past 5,000 strikeouts two years before and in May 1991 tossed his seventh no-hitter. His rookie card skyrocketed to unbelievable levels and dragged up all other Ryan cards with it. That effect persists today, and whenever you find Ryan cardboard, you can bet it's near the top of the Vio hierarchy. In the case of the 1991 Leaf, that means $25 in PSA 10 condition. Updated auction amount? Around $17. Number 3. 1991 Leaf Barry Bonds, number 261. Bonds won his first National League MVP award in 1990, and many observers thought there were even better days ahead for this multi-tool talent. They were right, of course, and even though the PED controversies in later years clouded Bonds' legacy, he is still a strong hobby presence. Today, his 1991 Leaf card is a $20 buy in PSA 10 condition. Updated auction amount? Around $18. Number 2. 1991 Leaf Ken Griffey Jr., number 372. And the other junior? He was just starting his own upward trajectory as Cal was peaking in 1991. Within a few years, though, Griffey would rise to the height that few mortals can ever dream of, and his baseball cards became hobby royalty. This 1991 Leaf is pretty pedestrian as Griffey cards go, but it can still fetch $15 in PSA 10. Updated auction amount? Around $24. And our new number one on our list, 1991 Leaf, Ricky Henderson, number 101. Henderson completed the triumvirate of hot veterans in 1991 with Ryan and Ripken, courtesy of an American League MVP award in 1990 and his breaking of Lou Brock's all-time stolen base record in early 1991. Henderson is another guy who just kept running in the hobby and on the base paths and never looked back, leaving his 1991 Leaf in the $10 range for PSA 10 copies today. Updated auction amount? Around $32. Like our video? Then like our video and subscribe to our channel. WaxPackGods.com